financials. Um, they did not have a strong current ratio, but it is above the industry average right now. Um, their PE ratio is very high, especially compared to the industry average. And they have a low debt to equity ratio, much lower than the, the industry average, so that's good. Um, their ROA, ROE, and earnings before taxes, um, they're not the greatest and they have been decreasing, but a lot of the other restaurants in the industry right now are decreasing as well. Um, our second choice was Red Robin. Um, they'll be celebrating 40 years of service uh, later here in 2009. Um, and they have 21 franchises operating 128 restaurants in 40 states and two Canadian provinces. Um, they've opened 30 new res 31 new restaurants in 2008, uh, but plan uh, much smaller growth in 2009, um, only planning to open 13, 14 new restaurants. Um, also, we're found on the four core values of honor, integrity, continually seeking knowledge, and having fun. Uh, and they're especially known for their gourmet burgers and fun atmosphere. Um, again, as you can see here, uh, their current ratio still not great, um, but above the industry average, um, and again above the industry average in PE, uh, and, and very low in debt to equity, um, and then an ROA of 4.4%, ROE of 10.1%, and 36.94 earnings before taxes, million dollars. <coughs> Buffalo Wild Wings was our number one choice. They have over 500 company-owned and franchise restaurants in 37 states. They're not global, but they are considering it. Um, they have strict franchise requirements that will ensure its success if somebody tries to start a business. Um, they intend to open numerous company-owned and franchise restaurants in new and existing markets. 